You guys are never going to guess what we're going to do. The, the title of the video? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're doing another scroller box. Let's just get into it. And we have our scroller box. Oh my gosh, we are busting out as usual. Let's take the supplies out and look at the featured artist and their print. Okay, let's just jump right into it, you guys. Here is our list of supplies, our neat custom sticker for the month. This is the May box. And our candy, we have a Walker's Mint Toffee. You want a candy review? Let's do a candy review. We've got some paper, but a little paper never hurt anybody, right? All right, let's try it. Ah, I know it said mint toffee, but when I put it into my mouth, I was expecting a caramel flavor. So it just really, I don't think I've ever had a minty caramel. It's not bad, but with this texture, I really just want to taste caramel, not mint. Okay, so I'm kind of excited. It looks like we have some paint markers. The Pilot Pintor Marker, which is apparently paint in Spanish. I am excited because I love Posca pins, so I do like paint markers. We have a tealy green color. Does it say what color? Yes, we have green, we have gold, we have black, and white. Looks like these are going to be in finer tips. We have a 0 0.7, a 1, a 1.4, and a 1.4. So we've got some paint markers. Excited about that. Actually, let's go ahead and get our piece of paper over here so we can start swatching things and seeing how they work as we go. All right, let's twist off the plastic of these markers and then get to swatching. So as usual, we're going to do some shaking and then some pumping to get these paint markers going. We've got paint, y'all. Not surprisingly, it does tear up the paper, but I do really like that color. They're very light and soft. Is that a thing? I don't know. Gosh, these rip up the paper. Oh boy. Oh, you can actually get quite a fine line with this one. Well, here I am swatching a white pen on a white paper. So next up we have the Molotow uh, Liquid Chrome. 20 years edition. Ooh, it looks so fancy. They call it an exciting alcohol-based marker. I don't know why it's so exciting, but I guess we'll find out. All of the pumping action in this scroller box. You wanted pump action? We've got pump action. So it's alcohol-based. Oh, I was expecting black. I don't know why. I Wow, wow. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, fine, fine, you know what? I am impressed. They were not kidding about this chrome and, well, I don't know. Actually, it looks a lot more shiny and chrome-like when it's wet and then it dries. It, wow, when you put it down, it looks like this crazy, like mercury, shiny liquid. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'm impressed with this marker. I don't normally like shiny things, but this was a really interesting shiny chrome. Look, it's like a mirror. It really is like a mirror. Wow. All right, moving on to the back of our supplies. We have our pencil. It's a Mylan, Mylan graphite pencil. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's a triangle shape. There you go. Let's test it out. Wow. There you go. Next up, we have an eraser I've never tried, so put this on the next to-do eraser video. We have the Mylan 430 eraser, but also, I love, bleep, bleep, look how squishy, it's like a little marshmallow. Boop, 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 boop. And you know what, it's really soft. I'm putting it on my face right now, and it's so soft, and I just wanna to touch it on my face, because it's just, did I say it was so soft? I don't think I did. Anyway, let's test it. Smooth like butter, as every soft eraser is. It's not bad, it, yeah, I guess it's a fine eraser. Gosh, it's so soft. It says it has a unique vintage style. Is it just because they don't make square erasers anymore? I'm not sure what's happening. It also says the synthetic rubber will not dry out. Everyone knows I have a horde of erasers, so it's good to know at least this one won't be drying out. And it says our paper is Candeletto Lissio 125 GSM paper. 
creating strength and beauty, durability, wow, and class. This paper has class, y'all. Okay, anyways, let's take a look at our, what is it, challenge of the month. We have Paper Tiger. All right. All of that being said, a little birdie may or may not have told me that this box works well with wood. So is it cheating that I went and got wood for this box, even though it's not included? I know paint markers, you can use them with paper, but they do tear them up. And I haven't used paint markers on wood since that other box I used. So I thought it would be fun to get some wood paneling to work on wood pieces that weren't just panels. Cause I just, you know, thought it would be fun to play around with something that wasn't a rectangle shape. We're just gonna go crazy on this one because why not? Stop me, I dare you. Okay, so I know the expression paper tiger has to do with like wearing like a figure, figurative mask on yourself and like acting tough when really you're not. But I thought it would be cute to be a little more literal with um, the phrase. So I thought it would be cute to draw an actual uh, origami tiger, like an origami paper tiger and have someone write it. I thought that would be pretty dang cute. I mean, geometric things are one of my jams, right? Only thing is this is a little confusing because, oh my God, there's just so many folds and things and I don't know what's happening, but that's fine. We're gonna figure this out. I know the end of the tiger's face is right here, but I thought it'd be funny to have it over on the side, like a flounder. <laughs> So I don't really know who's going to be riding the tiger, but so far, uh, this is our, this is our tiger. Who could be riding this tiger that is either black, white, gold, or teal? A gold tiger, honestly, would be pretty dang cool. So. Let's say the gold goes to the tiger and then I'm gonna to try to focus on having black, teal, and white for our character. I wanna keep it simple because with Posca pins, I just, I mean, all of my art is pretty simple anyway, but especially I think when working with Posca pins, I think it's best um, or at least easiest to work on the simple side. Should I make this like a cat person riding a tiger? Okay, but what if I actually did like this though? Oh boy. A cat riding an origami tiger gun. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so if I were to go along with this, I think they do need some sort of clothes. Maybe they could be wearing like, they could be like a princess. I could put gold on them. Why do I have to make a sexy furry? Why do I always end up doing this? Casey Golden is actually a furry, I swear. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, but animals shouldn't be sexy, y'all. What's happening? Oh man, I don't know why. This is where my mind always goes. I wonder if I should do some sort of circle thing around it too and having like, I wonder if I should look up the stages of an origami tiger to have them going around the cat. Anyway, you get the picture. I don't have to draw that. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, how do you draw stars? Oh my. Okay, well, that's fine. All right, do I do a self-portrait like a little turd? Probably shouldn't. <laughs> what am I drawing? Oh wait, what if I went real stupid? Why can't I just draw something like a normal person? Why does it always have to be as stupid as possible? Also, why does this tiger look like an elephant? That nose is terrifying. What? What? What is this? Why is this? Who let me have a pencil? I kind of just want to wing it because winking it is funny. Sometimes you just got to make mistakes. Am I going to use a pencil? Is that going to be okay? Should I do an upside down star? No. Why do I love making such stupid things? <laughs> Why does everything have to be so stupid? Why can't I just make beautiful art like everybody else? I should probably not be putting so much effort into the goof. I should probably be, oh, 
I don't know, working on the actual... Wait, what if this turned into the actual one? What if I just didn't do the paper tiger one and I did this one? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Yeah, that's, that's all I really have to say about that. What, what am I doing with my life? I think one of the biggest things making this look like a fox... I forgot what I was gonna say. I mean, I think it's the white... The white of the eyes are also freaking me out because... Well, it looks like it's part of his eyes. <laughs> But, you know, sometimes we'll, we'll work through it. We're gonna make this look good, don't you worry. I know how worried you guys are. You're like, how is Casey going to make make this look good? How is she gonna pull through and turn, the, turn this around? How is she gonna do it? Well, you know, keep, keep watching. We'll, we'll figure it out, huh? Right over that black? No problem. Wow. Wow, just look at that action. Amazing. Y you wouldn't even know I had black under there. Isn't this fun, y'all? Wow, I'm having a freaking blast. Oh my god, I'm putting way too much effort into what I thought was going to be the joke. Okay, well, I am putting so much more effort into this what I thought was going to be the joke. The joke drawing. And now I'm just like super invested in this guy. What do you guys think? This is, I don't know why I put so much effort into this. I just got super into it. I haven't used any of the silver. I'm not sure what to do, let me think. Let me think about this for a second. I really actually like this, this chrome marker. It's really interesting. It, it seems different than a normal, like, shiny, I don't know, marker. It's interesting. What else can you do with silver? I feel like it's just strictly shiny details. I can you give him a, gold, a silver tooth? <laughs> Should I give him a silver tooth? Well, I guess I'm giving him a silver tooth. There you go. On a scale from one to 10, I would put that on uh, a level five regret. <laughs> I've done more regretful things. I've done less regretful things. Ooh, have I? Oh, that's pretty ugly. Well, I ruined that, so. <laughs> Here is our star tiger. It's a tiger thing. I don't know what happened. This was really interesting. Uh, so there you go. Okay, should we try to do the origami guy with the with the other thing? <laughs> you know, the origami guy with the other thing. You don't know the origami guy with the other thing? Come on, guys. That is... That was kind of scary sounding. There you go. That is that is what I call a paper paper tiger. Maybe I'll put the cat in a more like uh, inner. Oh my god! This... Do you guys like that sound? Oh my word! More energetic pose. That's where I was going. Look, I may have fudged things a little bit, but that's that's fine, right? It's fine. Here we go. Guess we're just gonna do the whole thing gold. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I think everything's like still half wet. Okay. So now that that is outlined, um, I'm gonna fill it in. Usually I fill things in with one direction of stroking, but I think I'm just gonna kind of go all over the place. Whatever I feel like doing, I'm going to do. Yeah, that's right. I'm still filling this in. Still going for it. All right. Wow. I did it. I'm actually kind of dying to add some of the detailing. That is, the, I keep grabbing this pen thinking it's the black one. It's not the black one. I'm dying to put some of the details into the paper tiger. 
So let's do that. <laughs> Wait, I was gonna make his, ah! It's gonna make his mouth white, actually. So let's do that first. I really like the white on the wood. That looks really nice. I was thinking about making the cat white, but this pin tip is so small. It's going to take me five hours to color that cat in, so now I'm thinking maybe I have to do a black cat, which is kind of unfortunate, because black doesn't really pop off of things. All right, I am finally ready to add those black details. Super excited and also super scared, because um, let's be honest, I'm gonna mess it up. The chrome is really confusing me because usually something that reflective means it's wet. So I keep thinking it's wet, but I'm pretty sure it's just, it's just shiny. So now I'm really freaking confused. Yeah, oh my gosh, they, they're so reflective. I I love the chrome, wow. Ah, actually that, one's, that one was wet, whoops. I actually kind of do like the black cat. I thought the white would pop off more, but honestly this black is really nice. Okay. So I was going to say I was done, but this looks incomplete. So I think I'm just going to keep adding like embellishments around. You guys, I don't know what I'm doing, but what's new, right? I don't think I ever know what I'm doing. I'm probably going to regret this. Kind of interesting. Actually not bad. Seems kind of stupid to add a floor and have a circle top area. Man, what am I to do? I don't know what I'm doing. Did, did, have I ever told you guys that? I don't, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm in full on, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point mode. I just keep adding things. <laughs> oh boy. I think I, I think I cluttered it. I think I should have not added these flowers. I mean, I think it did need more black detail somewhere. I don't think this was it though. Sometimes you just don't know what you're doing. That just happens to be me 24 seven. Okay. Um, regretfully, I'm probably gonna add a few black dots here and there. And then we're gonna call this done before I ruin it anymore. <laughs> before I do any more damage, there you go. There is what I would call the main piece. It's a cat, origami, tiger. It's kind of cute. It's kind of wonky. It is what it is. And let's not forget, our it's a tiger star. <laughs> These are both really silly. Uh, I don't. I don't even know. You guys, I don't even know. But there it is. I hope you enjoyed this. Yeah? All right. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And now a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons for all of their support. You guys are the best. If you want to be in the credits at the end of my videos, see secret sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking a link in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye.